guys hey welcome to my youtube channel if you're new please subscribe if you're not new and you're returning this is us still in 2023 investing honey yes 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 okay so in today's video we will be going or diving into my international portfolio on easy equities so that is currently i'm just i just have the aud account the australian account and the usd account so we will be going into those and i will just elaborate more on the australian market one more than i'll be elaborating on the AU usd one okay so on the now the reason i'll be elaborating in that particular <laughs> manner is because with my usd account i simply invested in ETFs that I knew that I was aware of. This is like your Teslas, you know, your Walmart, your Target. Those are the places or ETFs that I knew. So that's when I took that leap of faith. Okay, let me just invest in these because I know these. But this year, I am positive and hoping that the girl does more research so we can invest in other USD um, yeah, ETFs. So with my AUD account, which is my Australian market account, that one is a bit, you know, it's a little backstory, little backstory on the reason I'm saying this is with my Zara account in my last video, those ETFs were a bit, you know, diverse and well-known companies. I want to say well-known, but is very much known ETFs. So with my AUD account, my investment strategy was a bit different from the one that i had in my zara account so because with the zara account i had ugh, my space so because with the zara account i hadn't done the research that i needed or i was struggling to find companies to invest in that were still startup companies or i don't want to say startup but there was still not very much high in you know share price they're still starting off you know those new companies so that's what i decided to do with my aud account that's my australian account so with my australian account my investment strategy was to find those i don't want to call them small they could be big <laughs> but was to find companies that the share price was still low at the time newer companies you know newer companies that the share price was still low and I felt like in the near future or in the future they could potentially you know give out good returns so that was my investment strategy on my AUD account so I will be showing you the companies on my AUD account and explaining why I invested in them the research done on it is not like deep research so I wouldn't you know but this is the research that I did and I ended up investing in these it's a bit diverse because I chose some, you know, oil companies, some gas companies, some investment companies, just to like diversify the portfolio a bit. But they are all still very low in share price at the moment because I think most of them, the share price is below $10. Uh, so yeah. But before we get into the usd and my well my australian and my usd portfolio and my international portfolios i'm just gonna show you how to activate your international portfolio on the easy equities app right let's do that let's do that now okay so we're just gonna go onto the easy equities app and then right there where you see the plus button that's where you're gonna click so i already have my aud account set up so I'm just going to show you with maybe a European account. So we're going to click on that plus button. And then you will see all the accounts that you can activate here. So if you don't have your AUD account activated, you will find it right in this section. So you're just going to click on, let's say we are opening a GPP account. GBP account. So you're going to go, I hereby confirm. And then you're going to click on activate account. So then you're going to click on that United Kingdom based account. That's your GPP account. Then it will be off, but then you just turn it on. And then that is it. Your account has been set up. So let's go back to the portfolio. And then right there, there it is. There's your GBP account. So with, um, with, with, 
depositing money it will just be the same as your other account the deposit will still be the same so come here you can either deposit into your zara account and transfer into your gbp account or you can deposit directly into your gbp account by your eft reference i would suggest deposit all your money into your zara account then you can just transfer it into the different accounts all right so that's how you set up your set up and activate your AUD account or any other European, well, international like, Yeah, that market. So we'll be going through that. But before we get into the video, I'd just like to explain a bit on how my portfolio is set up. So with my USD account, I invested in companies that, well, in ETFs that I knew about. Only in the ETFs. Only the ETs that I knew about, I invested in on the Australian market, on the USD. <laughs> this dress is so beautiful, ne? it is so beautiful, but it does not allow for me to like sit. But yeah, okay, back into the important stuff. So I have my book as always, and I will be looking down a lot, but just know it is because I will be checking. Yeah, so with my usd account i like i said i invested in companies uh that i knew so my the etfs that i have in my usd account that's the apple etf i have tesla i have target and then i have walmart so with vanguard i tend to in, invest in the vanguard high dividend and then i invested in the vanguard information technology and then I invested in the Vanguard large cap and also in the REIT, Vanguard REIT one, ETF. So with the Vanguard, I was, a, Vanguard, I started investing in it a bit late, like around November, November in the year, because that's when I, when I was still doing my research, I discovered that Vanguard ETFs, the Vanguard ETFs. I think one or two is suggested or recommended can't remember but yes but with the tesla and the usd and all those those are just each that i invested in because i knew about so yeah so let's get into let's move to the u a u d account this is where we might spend a lot of time on because yeah Right. <laughs> if this wasn't like in the middle, I'd go cut, 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 but right. <laughs> yeah, let's get into the AUD. So with the AUD account, I invested in 88 Energy. Now, this particular ETF, I through research is a very actually all these ETFs that I'll be mentioning in this uh section of the video are very risky because they're really still small they are like the potential of growing you know when a company is ill the company is still small there's a high chance that it might not work out and there's also a high chance that it might work out so all of these are really risky just for the mere fact that they are kind of still small well, i'll call it small for now you know yeah so i invested in 88 energy it is it was founded in 1996 and it is a oil and gas etf how do i put this the company 88 is specifically what is the word my brain is on an episode of what are you trying to say but it is an etf that our oh, specializes the word specializes well the etf is just on let me just call it just on it's a it's a company that focuses on oil and gas exploration that is basically the etf uh, e88 or the 88 energy yeah. other company i invested in is igo limited at first i thought it was ego or igo or like something i don't know but yeah that's the other AUD account that ETF that I invested in, it is a mining company that is basically um, 
focused on the acquisition and production you know of deposits like nickel you know your copper you know your silver deposits yeah just stuff like that so it's basically a mining etf so you see that diversity i was talking about the other one is the oil and gas when i mentioned before is the oil and gas exploration this is a mining one and the third one that i invested in is e luca i don't know if i'm saying them correctly but yeah the one i invested in is e luca oh e luca i shouldn't i shouldn't be pronouncing it in such a south african manner should i it's such a south african pronunciation e luca but yeah that's the thing i'll just put it in so you guys know what i'm talking about but i could be pronouncing them wrong Mining, it's, it's also specializing in mining. I wrote here that Iluka, uh, it specializes in mineral sand. It's a mineral sand company with expertise in mining, exploration, processing, marketing, and rehabilitation. That's what I wrote here. So that is what Iluka is based. So it's a bit more diverse than just mining because they also focus on the whole marketing and you know rehabilitation and processing and exploration of all their mining stuff so the fourth one that i invested in is pinnacle investment group <sighs> now this one is a bit i'm still on the fence about it it's also very risky but i see um, I'm, I'm, I'm totally seeing it having potential because it is an investment um etf so the company basically um specializes on finding clients for investing and helping other um i wouldn't say it's an agent of some sort but they help the clients to find proper investment options yeah let me call them investment options so saying i wanted to to um thing i wanted to uh invest in i, I needed an, an, an investor in yeah let's say i need an investor to in my farming I will, i'm just making a typical example. i need an investor in my farming venture so they'll probably give me investor and like investor that would help me with your company and they also invest that they try and strike a proper deal to help get leverage on the investment that they will be doing with that particular person so that's basically what they're about so i see potential i mean we are starting businesses and we're getting into yeah certain businesses all the time so uh yeah so with this particular one um also it consists of 15 investment affiliates uh, so those are that i think that is really great because 15 is a lot and for them to have those investment affiliates is it's that there is that growing you know i don't the words are just gone today but yeah there's that growth thing that could like you know happen or is happening because if i have 15 investment affiliates it means the investment guys are gonna go right if we have the right people to help the investment that, that is that is just great that is just great and then so what i wrote is that pinnacle investment management they provide seed funding global infrastructure and retail distributing so that's what they do and also pinnacle provides specialist investment it's a specialist investment manager with superior global distribution fund infrastructure and support to services support to services to enable them to focus on this is the part that is vital to enable them to focus on delivering investment excellence to their clients like i said before their clients or come like guys how do i say this this company is basically just focused on getting helping um their clients with proper investment so if i come and i'm like i need this they're like okay we can invest in you this is what we're going to do so it's a great company it's helping start up um 
uh, uh, startup companies to like you know get liberated it's helping like it's a very great company and with that for those 15 affiliates that they have then they can fund more business the uh businesses with different i think this i could talk about i i think this is a conversation that i would like have <laughs> i don't know but like it's it's a it's a bit it's, it's a great um for me I don't want to say it's a great area you invested in. You're like, you said it was a great, but I'm just saying that if they're helping start up companies to, to as their investment, uh, you know, investors, then it is great. And with the affiliates that they have, they can invest in more startups and they can invest in more startups diversely. Because like, all those 15 affiliates are like different. I'll like try put the affiliates that they have somewhere in the video. But yeah, the different affiliates. And obviously, like if you have different affiliates in different parts of distribution, marketing, and whatever global infrastructure, then that is great. Like a lot of people can be funded and a lot of investments can be made. So, which basically means if you invest in this particular ETF that think about it as you are also like investing in those startup companies and with those startup companies they have startup i don't know if i should call them businesses or companies but they are they have potential because the affiliates will be helping as well with the marketing and the distribution and all of that so yeah so the fifth one i invested in was the australian shares index and then i also uh, invested in interfixed interest indexed hedged ETF yeah so that is it the video is pretty short those are the only um companies i have on my usd and my aud account i think i was i explained to my best of abilities concerning what they each do i'll be investing more hopefully with the australian market i can find companies that are already big to and that i feel like have still have potential of growing because I'm I'm just a bit on the fence with how to I'm just a bit on the fence on how I'm going to orchestrate everything because all my accounts are very diverse from my Zara account, TFSA account, you know, my AD and my USD and my Easy Properties account. So they're quite diverse. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can I can be able to diversify each even still in each portfolio. In the sense that with my AUD account, I can still have big companies as well as small companies. I can still have, well, let me not call them company. What do I call ETFs? Yeah, big ETFs as well as small ETFs. In my Zara account, I can have startup companies that I feel like I'm going to do well. So I can have startup ETFs and, well, big companies, ETFs. Same with my USD account. With easy properties, it's a bit, hmm, you know. So I'm staying here. Do I, should I mention? I mean, it's not like you guys are gonna find me. So I'm staying go Green Park, like Green Park Lifestyle Estate. And I saw it on Easy Properties a couple of years back. I didn't end up investing in it. But now that I stay here, I'm just like, the minute they put it up for auction, I'm going to be buying shares because this place is really amazing. I could do a tour and show you guys the place. But yeah, I'll just. Yeah, the place is really amazing. There's everything here. The security is top notch. You can sleep with your doors open. You know, <laughs> all of that. So, with the easy property section this year, I'm a bit on that whole thing because I'm trying to invest in property outside the easy properties thing. But I'm still gonna invest in at least two this year two properties hopefully they put green park up if they auction green park i'm in i am in so yeah i shouldn't have gone into the easy properties thing on this video but just a little you know we will be going into the easy my easy properties portfolio in the next video so yeah thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed i think you should subscribe especially if we're investing if we're investing we're on this journey together i'm also learning as much as i'm here talking because i'm still new it's been it's been what a year into a, a couple of months <laughs> it's been a couple in a couple of weeks who knows I've, I've been here for a short time so i'm also hoping to learn from you guys so if you have any suggestions on etfs 
put them down in the comment section let me look at it let me research let me also try to invest for myself i'll be back with the feedback in a couple of months whatever but yeah let me just show you my what the amount of my yeah i'm actually excited because the aud account is doing pretty well we're in profits all of the etfs are in profits in the aud account so that is beautiful that is beautiful so yeah Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.